Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the sulfur dioxide molecule, SO2, so the uh, Lewis dot structure for that. So here we go. I've got uh, SO2, it's the chemical formula, and that's going to give us uh, six valence from the sulfur plus two oxygens, each of which bringing us six valence electrons. It's going to give us a total of 18 valence electrons, okay, and we can go ahead and use my trick where we subtract largest multiple of 8 from this total, so that's going to be 16, gives us 2 remaining, and now 16 is equal to 8 times 2, and then 2 divided by 2 equals 1, so that means that this is going to be an A x 2, this 2 comes from this 8 times 2, E1, where this is the 2 divided by 2 gives you 1, because this, so this means that we'll have one central atom, two peripheral atoms, and then one non-bonding pair of electrons on the central atom. All right, so let's go ahead and start to draw this thing. It's uh, S is going to be the central atom, so it's S, and then it's got the two oxygens, and um, we can go ahead and connect them with single bonds, and then fill out the oxygens. So now there's eight electrons on each oxygen. And then, so that's going to give us 16, and then you have to put the extra lone pair on the sulfur, okay? So this, at first, seems like it might be right. So we can go ahead and check the formal charges, and we'll actually, we're going to find out that this is not the correct structure, and you'll see why. So the formal charge on the sulfur is going to be 6, for the 6 valence electrons brought in, minus number of bonds, 1, 2, minus number of non-bonding electrons is uh, 2, that's going to give us a formal charge of plus 2. And the formal charge on each of the oxygens is going to be 6 valence brought in minus 1 bond on each minus the uh, 6 non-bonding electrons on each one, which gives us a minus 1. So there's 2 oxygens, so minus 1, minus 1, plus 2 gives us a 0. So the overall formal charge is correct, but you don't want to have this plus 2. It's too far from 0. And if you, if you look back at the, the diagram drawn, sulfur only has six electrons, and that's not its full octet. So what we're going to do, and keep in mind, sulfur being in the third period of the periodic table, it has access to the d orbital, so it can actually hold more than just the full octet. It can hold more than just eight electrons. It can actually hold at least 12. So what we're going to do is move this bond, or these two electrons, make this a double bond, and then move these two electrons and make this a double bond, so now each oxygen still has 8, and now the sulfur is going to have 10. So let's cross these out, and let's try it again. Okay. So the new formal charge calculation is going to consist of, we got the formal charge for sulfur, which is going to be the 6 valence brought in minus 1, 2, 3, 4 bonds. Because remember, a double bonds count for 2 bonds, not just 1. And then minus the two electrons up here that are non-bonding, minus two, and that gets a zero. That looks better. Okay, now we can check for the formal charge on each of the oxygens, and those are going to be six valence brought in, minus one, two bonds on each oxygen, minus one, two, three, four non-bonding electrons, and that's also going to be zero. So there we go. Each of the new, in the, the new Lewis structure here, the formal charges on each of the atoms are all zero, and that's definitely better than having this two and one nonsense. So this is this is the structure that's going to work for us. Okay, so now we can discuss shape real quick um, because it's ax two e one. It's going to end up being a um, bent shape. All right, and that means that the bond angles are going to be equal to 117 degrees approximately. Okay, And um, because you see sulfur is here in the center, it has one, two, three bonding sites. That means that it's going to be sp2 hybridized. Because it's spp, so it's three orbitals for three bonding sites. This, this right here counts as one bonding site, and then each of these oxygens is a second and third. Okay, so that's going to be your three bonding sites for sp2 hybridized. And um, because of this lone a, a pair of electrons up top here, it's going to make this a polar 
um, molecule because these oxygens cannot cancel out the, the net dipole moment from that pair of electrons on top there. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Leave them in the comments. If you have a specific uh, molecule request, let me know. I'll try to make a video for it. And uh, thanks for watching.